got a word from our sponsor, Manscaped. They're the leaders in below the belt male grooming. They're the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. The Lawnmower 4.0 is still undefeated to this day. Nobody has beaten it. Ceramic blades, advanced skin safe technology to help cut down on those grooming accidents. It is waterproof so you can shave in the shower and it has an LED light so you can shave in the dark in the shower. But do not get out of that shower because we have package deals for you, man. In case you're a fan of package deals, uh, Manscaped has the performance package, right? Now, in the performance package, it comes with the Lawnmower 4.0. It comes with the Weed Whacker, which is a nose and ear hair trimmer, right? So you shave up your man parts, then you hit your nose, then you hit your ears. Well, what else comes with that performance package? You got ball toner, you got ball deodorant, bro. Manscaped even comes with complimentary Manscaped boxers. I have graduated them to my lucky draws. And if you act now, you get a Manscaped travel shed bag to keep all of your goodies in. Listen, this is what I want to do. I want to save y'all some money. Vice says this, go to manscaped.com, get everything over there, get the performance package, throw a couple more lawnmowers in there. Use promo code VOCH20, V-O-C-H-20. 20 to get 20% off and free shipping. And don't forget that Manscaped ships internationally. All right? Love y'all to pieces. Manscaped.com. Your balls will thank you. And we back here to watch a little bit of film. Uh, some running backs today. Zeke and Tony, some of my favorite runs. And then we'll take a look at, uh, you know, how those runs were blocked. Uh, if you want to see the full film session, today I only got about five or six plays. But if you want to see the full film session, the entire game, go to patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. That's where I go and break down the big film. And you can go see all my old stuff if you would like. It is there for you. Patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. Let's get into it, man. We ain't doing nothing else. Nothing, nothing else. So, um, the, the Cowboys offense, right? So when you, when you see people say, oh, the Cowboys dominated the Rams, well, that's because of what we was doing on defense, right? The offense just kind of meandered its way through the game. But if, if there's anything that the Cowboys offense did successfully was run the football, right? And that's the only time that we're able to score and get yardage and to do nice things and to put points on the board for this defense that's helping us so much is handing the ball to Tony and Zeke. And of course, um, you know, that, that was a, that was a huge task. You know, we had Aaron Donald the block we had you know Bobby Wagner in that front seven it, it, it wasn't it wasn't fun it wasn't fun you know you know Greg Gaines is a big trash can full of dirt guy you know so you know running the ball versus the Rams wasn't the easiest thing to do in the world but Dad gummit it got done let's take a look at this run from Zeke I just showed y'all from the uh from the other view there and and you know you could tell as the as the game went on that the Rams didn't like tackling us, you know, they were kind of huffing and puffing. And I, and I would say that they were kind of worn, worn down by the physical nature of what we were doing on the offensive line and just, you know, tackling Zeke in general. Uh, let's take a look at the left side of your line. Let's see what they did. Fantastic, easy peasy. Zach Martin versus Greg Gaines, of course. And I like how Tyler Biotis climbed, but the leverage got messed up. The uh, the uh, running the uh, linebacker tried to like cut backwards to get an angle on um, Zeke there, but Tyler Biotis recovered nicely. Turn, boom, got just a little bit of a block. Not a not a fantastic block, but just a little bit of a block. And you know the, these these five yard carries, these six yard carries, man, they add up over time. So. Um, how about I say fantastic job by the Cowboys? Fantastic job of this five yard run by the Cowboys. But those five yard runs add up. You know, they're jabs, and jabs don't look that hard until you get jabbed in the face. And then that jab, you know, it, you know, there's another punch coming behind that jab. So, uh, you know, these these five yard runs they equal something else in the long run, like this. <laughs> Hey man, cousin Tony was just rumbling and rumbling. They 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 couldn't do nothing with him, man. What's going on? You need both these guys, man. You need Zeke for those consistent pounding runs, man. But just Tony, just look when it's blocked nicely, man. His ass can go. Let's see what happened up front, man. My word. Won't you look at? Won't you look at your offensive line, man? What are we doing? Let's see what uh what uh Terrence Steele and and uh Jake Ferguson did, right? Boom, boom, boom. Fantastic. Now, now, if, if y'all have been keeping up with me on Patreon, patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi, then you're fully aware of how crazy Terrence Steele has been going this year. You know, so, um, you know, be sure to give him proper credit when you're in the internet streets and, you you know, you're passing out credit on the offense, you're passing out credit on the offensive line. Be sure to mention um, Terrence Steele. What about your center and your right guard, Tyler Biotis and Zach Martin? How did they do? Boom, boom, boom. We have taken 
the uh what was that who's that greg Gaines? we have taken greg Gaines and carried his ass all the way to bobby wagner bobby gets blocked by zach martin fantastic bring it back bring it back let's see uh what your left tackle and your left guard are doing tyler and mcgovern there mcgovern did his his look it, it looks like mcgovern's getting picked up by aaron donald right here but in terms of body placement getting the hat on hat uh, you know, Connor McGovern, you did fine. And Tyler Smith is going to take a it's not a it's not a short pull, but just take like an outside zone step, give a small little assist with Aaron Donald, but then do this waterfall technique where he's basically cutting off C gap. And uh hey man, Tony Pollard's doing the rest, man. He's just gonna rumble those dudes that don't want to tackle him and run away from him. the other dudes that ain't got the, the physical capacity and the athleticism to keep up with him. Just another one of those tough five yard runs, man. And those yards start to, you know, first of all, the yards start to add up. And, and, and listen, let, let's just be fair, right? I know sometimes we can get into the compare it with Tony Pollard game and we may look at a five yard run like it's nothing. You know what I mean? Like we'll look at, well, we, we like y'all, not like me. But we'll look at a five yard run and be like, no, oh, five yards is cool, but it ain't a it ain't a big 50 yarder like Tony had. Yeah, sure, it's not. But five yards of carry is kind of crazy, right? So so let's just give, give Zeke his... Uh, his uh, credit for just eking out these tough yards. And if you just count by fives, those numbers add up quickly. Even this one, right? And this one, let's see, we got Jake Ferguson at tight end. We got Connor McGovern at fullback with Zeke right behind him, right? Like this has to be taxing for a defense to have to deal with this, right? You know, just adding adding the extra offensive line. And you know, Jake Ferguson is no scrub in the blocking department, right? Guys are just getting moved. They're, they're getting moved and just pushed around. And then when it's time to go tackle Zeke, like Zeke just ain't falling down like Zeke is <laughs> Zeke knocking people over take a look at the block from uh Tyler Smith here I kind of wish Zeke would have avoided Tyler a little bit because um boy Tyler was about to take this dude to uh to the grasslands he was about to take this dude to the open plains and mess up them yellow pants but uh hey Zeke ran right to it it is what it is uh Matt Fornyak at the fullback position right shouts out to him getting engaged on Greg Gaines and, and finishing him and and all this is just physicality at the end of the day with Zeke at the end of it. And all that does is just open up runs later. Like this. You know, you just you just gotta love the big runs, man. You just got, you gotta love when you just pound and pound and pound and pound and and then you know it's it's it's, it's almost like the other party just starts to submit a little bit. And, and if you just keep watching the film, the piles start to get a little bigger, right? Look at this pile of bodies right here. The piles wasn't that big in the first quarter, but people get tired. People get tired. People get sick of getting hit on. Did Tyler Smith just hold on? Let's take a look at, at uh, Tyler Smith versus versus Aaron Donald right here. Hold on, what was going on? Oh shit! <laughs> okay, hey, pretty good movement though, right? Pretty good movement. Though. And, and look, after after all day in the past game, Aaron Donald just beating the shit out of Tyler Smith. Tyler Smith getting a pretty good block on him in the run game. Pretty fun. Aaron, uh, uh, Tyler hit the ground before Aaron did, but it was fun. Uh, McGovern blocked down on Greg Gaines. That is fine. Uh, Biotis blocked down on ninety four. Sure, big piles. Zach Martin and Terrence Steele pulling, sealing. And who is this? Hendershot? Where's Hendershot at? Hendershot's there. How did he get there? There he goes. That's what he did. Mm, shots out to Hendershot, man. And then we got Tony Powell on the run on the back end there. Good stuff. Good, fun, wholesome stuff. Listen, man, we got to have an understanding. I'm just let this play kind of roll a little bit while I'm talking. We got to have an understanding about the relationship between Zeke and Tony. Of course, you know, Tony can get, you know, as many yards as Zeke in less runs. Of course, you know, Tony can, you know, break the big plays and things of that nature. But those small punishing runs from Zeke, they mean something. In the grand scheme of things, it means something, right? And, you know, you can you can chalk it up to ball control game or, you know, whatever, right? Like, you know, okay, well, if, if we're up and the defense is playing good, then we need to kill the clock or the defense is getting rest on the sideline, you know? And to be fair, the defense wasn't getting a whole lot of rest on the sideline. Like I think by the middle of the third quarter, the T.O.P. was like 20 minutes to 10. Cowboys having 10. Like the offense wasn't on the field very, very long because it was, it was kind of stagnant, right? And I say that to say, 
when Dak Prescott comes back, I think this run game gets much, much better, right? Um, you know, because for one, we'll be able to keep these drives sustained, right? You know, we'll be able to keep drives going and the longer drives that you have, one, the, the more rest that your defense gets, of course, but you know, the, the, the more drives that you have, the more opportunities your, your running backs have to get going in the run game. So this ain't me just advocating for number four again. It kind of is, but this ain't me advocating for number four again, man. This is just simply me making my case, man, that, you know, whenever that dude comes back, everybody around him, everybody, everybody around him will, you know, will get better. The wide receivers will get better. Only like only three wide receivers had had catches the, uh, last last um last up uh, sunday man and, and, and I, I want my wide receivers to have their catches now yes we won the game you know we scored 22 points or whatever um you know all together but you know like a lot of that i mean it was like the tony run it was a pick six and it was like maher kicks you know what i mean um Dorrance armstrong blocked the punt that ended up being like a maher kick thing right so i just feel like all these teams that we're just kind of beating right now and look i'm proud of cooper rush man i'm happy that we're beating people right Oh, we get to beat the shit out of them when Dak Prescott comes back. Plus, we get to um, we get to beat better opponents. So uh, one day when we get to the uh, to the to the you know to the uh, playoffs, that'll be a real life conversation. We'll cross that road whenever we get there. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. If you want to watch the long form film sessions, Patreon.com/slash Vosh Lombardi. Love y'all to pieces, man. Holla.